Hey folks, it's Jim from The Movie Wine, and I'm here to review the film The Cabin in the Woods, which is directed by Drew Goddard, and it's also written by him and his co-screenwriter, Joss Whedon. And the two had been buying various TV shows like Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Angel, Firefly. Goddard wrote some episodes for Lost, and of course, Whedon directed the film The Avengers, which is coming out in a few weeks. And together, these two have created a great dissection, deconstruction, whatever you want to call it, of the horror genre. They've created a film that plays by certain cliches, conventions, and archetypes, and that it subverts them. And thirdly, they made a film that's nearly impossible to talk about without revealing any big plot details. Um, it's a great movie. Try to stay away from any massive spoilers or trailers or footage or anything like that. Just see, just see the film, period. It's a great horror film. It's a shame the film's been sitting on the shelves for the last three years due to MGM's bankruptcy. But hopefully the film will do well here in America. Though, from what I understand, the film has received a C from Cinema Score, which is a survey of African-American moviegoers. I don't know why. Sure, I sure as hell hope no one's disliking the film because it's different. But it is a great horror film that's funny, smart, original, different, thoroughly entertaining, and unpredictable. It's not particularly scary. That's my only gripe with the film. But overall, it's an excellent movie. And it's the kind of originality that we need to see more. And not just horror films, but any genre. And it's made from two guys who seem to really understand the horror genre and why we see horror films in general. And yeah, there you have it, folks. Uh, if you haven't figured it out already, I'm going to give the film a see it twice rating. It's a great film, and I loved it. That's it from the movie one. Have a good day, folks.